Hey guys, this is D-Lo back with another video. So, I'm gonna let y'all listen to this video because this video of an article is, uh, is, come, is talking about a veteran want to know why he got a we call on the medicine uh, that was recently we called a month a month earlier. So let me let let y'all listen to this. This right here is a myth, and then this is gonna show show you why any shadow of a doubt how slack these people are. Let me go ahead and play this. Veteran is asking why he got a letter from the VA about a recall of medication more than a month after the issue was announced by the manufacturer. We found out the drug was prescribed to thousands of local veterans, and Eight on Your Side investigator Walt Buteau joins us live in studio with the story. Stacey and Keith, the VA tells me their announcement was made during the allowed time frame, but one veteran and his daughter insist there was a delay they fear could have impacted his cancer treatment. Vietnam veteran Gary Hartman working on a puzzle as he battles bladder cancer. He and his family are also trying to piece together the timeline for a Bay Pines VA notice about an eye drop recall. Hartman's daughter, also a veteran, is his health care advocate. My dad immediately went into panic about it. How many times did he use the eye drops? I, I, I... I don't know. I wouldn't have a specific number. I just know it was on his daily medications. We checked on the Federal Drug Administration's website and found out the reason for the recall was the company's inability to assure that products meet the identity, strength, quality, and purity standards due to a bankruptcy. According to the FDA, the manufacturer announced the recall on April 26th, and it was published by the FDA on May 4th. But Bay Pines did not send out this letter to Hartman until the middle of June, more than a month after the recall. In May and April, they had these notifications. And then now, I'm going to tell you something. You know how much of damage that could have caused. Back is happening. You know how much uh, uh injuries he uh, how much uh, uh injuries or uh, whatever in case he made it suffer because this eye drop was was called when he didn't know about it till a month uh a month later. I don't know why these people do stuff like this. It don't make any common sense, but let's continue. Didn't even get it as a patient who's been consuming it for months. As an immunocompromised patient who has cancer has been uh, putting this drug in his body, I don't know what other harm that's doing to him. There have been three other eye drop re Exactly. And let me let me go ahead and say this right here. Don't forget, there was an eye drop that got we called one time before, and it caused this uh, older lady to lose her eye. I done that story as well. But let's continue. Calls by the FDA since the start of the year. Patients who used some of the contaminated eye drops experienced infections with a few resulting in permanent blindness. Three deaths have been linked to the contaminated eye drops. We called Bay Pines about the eye drops in Hartman's case and were told the drug company gave the agency until June 9th to review its prescriptions. Spokesman Rob Frazier tells me Bay Pines identified nearly 3,000 veterans impacted by the recall within the time frame allocated. Thereafter, individual letters were sent informing them of the recall and how to ensure they could receive their prescriptions in a timely manner. Hartman's daughter tells me this issue is another reason why her father is using private sector doctors through the VA's community care program. I don't have trust in the VA. I don't have trust in their ability to maintain health care. I don't have their trust. And that was just, again, for me, more validation of why we want community Now, see, hold on. I'm 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 gonna make a point, but I'm let, let me play this. Let me go ahead. Uh, we zoom this right quick. Community care and why we want to be able to go into the community to receive treatment that works. We have links to information about all four of the FDA eye drop recalls from this year on WFLA.com. If you have any of the impacted brands, the FDA recommends throwing them away. Is there any way the VA could have gotten could have gotten this information out more quickly? I mean, they sent a and see. See, this is this is the route that they are traveling on because you gonna have more people gonna be not gonna be trusting the DA or the FDA or anybody like that. People are going to eventually stop distrusting them too because they keep on down this road. Trust me, it's coming. 
people ain't people people are not gonna trust the FDA. They're not gonna trust the VA. They are going to be in the same boat as filler is. And we all know filler is the is the company that make these sleep app machines. They go the FDA and the VA, they keep this up. They're gonna put themselves in the same category as the uh, uh, filler company. Nobody ain't, is not gonna trust them. And wrap for the suit. You can't keep doing stuff like this. Letter. Right. Kind of snail mail is what right. I like to call it. Right. So what do you think? Well, so uh, in this case involving the VA drop announcement, a local veteran advocacy group suggested the VA could have notified everyone quicker by texting the veterans, similar to how medical advice was sent during the COVID-19 pandemic. But again, yeah, it was a written letter, not text. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Walt. And if you have something you would like Walt to investigate, call our 8 on your side helpline, the number 1-800-338-0808. You know, summer, summer. It's despicable and disgusting how these people, uh, uh, how they want, how they want stuff. They should be better than this. Bottom line, they should be better than this. They need to have this stuff in order. But <sighs> this is how things are going right now. This is really how things are going. And like I said before, don't be surprised somewhere down the line that the public gonna get to a point. They're going to start distrusting the VA and the FDA just like, just like the filler company is, being, is, not, is losing the trust of the public. Y'all going to put yourself in the Y'all going to lose the public trust too. Y'all keep doing foolishness like this. Y'all to be ashamed of y'all going to sell. But y'all let me know about this, how y'all feel about this article. This is a flat out mess. I'll put a link to this article in the description box. I'm out.